What's up, YouTube? All right, so I'm back with another review of a gadget, and this time it's the C West Hyper Voltage Stabilizer. Now, how this works is you connect this to your car. Um, essentially, what this is is it's a uh, box, what, as you can see, and inside there's capacitors, okay? And there's a whole a bank of capacitors, and then they have a, a lead coming out of that bank, a positive and a negative lead. And what you do is you connect this to your car battery, and um, what happens is, is as you drive, your car battery charges up these capacitors, and then when your car battery starts to run low, because like let's say you turn on the air conditioning or um, you, you start bumping your system really loud, your battery is going to weaken a little bit, and this thing is supposed to take the power it's stored and send it out, kind of like a um, backup, I guess you could say. So um, it's supposed to um, send out voltage to the car battery when the car battery isn't putting out the voltage it's supposed to, and hence stabilizing the voltage. And of course, you get your um, list of promises, how it's going to improve, improve your fuel uh, economy, it's going to give you performance, and all that stuff. But before we get all into that, let's actually see if this thing even works. All right, so I've devised a test here, and this is the test. I have the voltage stabilizer um, hooked up to this 12-volt battery. That's that big uh, gray box. And that's a 12-volt um, direct current battery. Um, and then to attach to that, I have, oops, attached to that, I have this, the voltmeter. Okay, so this is how the test is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and at, um, disconnect the voltage stabilizer from the battery. And then when that happens, the voltmeter will still be connected to this guy. Because I don't know if you guys can see it here, but I got <laughs> um, the voltmeter um, prongs um, connected to the ends of the voltage stabilizer using these little alligator clips. Okay, so ideally we're just going to be, what's going to happen is this, uh, the power supply is going to be removed. And then what we're going to be able to see is we're going to see if uh, the voltage stabilizer actually does keep this at 12 volts. And for how long, okay? Now, if, as soon as we disconnect this, if this drops to zero, then this thing is a piece of garbage with an LED on it. If this thing stays at 12 or slowly decreases, then we know that this thing actually can hold some charge. Now, keep in mind, it is a capacitor, so we're not expecting it to be like a battery, where it's just going to, you know, keep it at 12 point volts for, you know, half hour or whatever. It's not a battery. It's a capacitor, so this is going to drop fast, but we, it should stay, it shouldn't just go straight to zero right away, okay? So, yeah, here we go. Okay, okay, that's enough. So, you can see it is, in fact, holding charge, and it's not, it's still discharging. Of course, 0.6 volts isn't going to really do anything for you, but you can see it is, in fact, holding charge, and it didn't tank nearly as fast as I thought it would, so I guess we can conclude that there are actually some capacitors in here. Um, there have been claims of these coming from, like, uh, China or wherever, and there actually be nothing in here other than just a box with two wires. So at least now we know that that's not the case here. Okay, so what I've done here is I've gone ahead and connected this voltmeter to my battery and in my car, and right now the car is off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start up the car, and we're going to see how the voltage changes, all right? <laughs> So now with the alternator running, we're up to 13.67 volts. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on as many accessories as I can. Air conditioning, radio, all that, and we'll see if that causes it to drop any.
looks like that didn't have any effect, or at least I couldn't see from where I was. Um, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to hook up the um, hyper voltage stabilizer. Okay, and now we're back down to 12.7. So, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and shut this uh, camera off for a second and install the voltage stabilizer. Okay, so I've been driving around a bit in order to charge up the capacitors inside the voltage um, regulator. And um, with the car off, you can see we're at 12.56 um, volts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start up the engine, and we'll see how that goes. Give it a second. Okay, so 13.44. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on all the accessories. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in, turn off the engine, I mean, no, sorry, turn off the accessories first, then the engine. slowly coming down. And there you go. So 